world view with me, Gauri Devedi, Mondays and Fridays, 9 p.m. I had a discussion with you all about some of the key issues that are happening around the world and its New Delhi effect and impact. Today, I'm going to talk about the South China Sea. So much has been said about uh, the Spratly Islands, how China has been militarizing them since 2012 and the larger impact as far as India is concerned. First things first, there are a bunch of seven islands in the South China Sea that China has completely militarized. That has been done since 2016. The eighth island is what China is in the process of militarizing, but it's unlikely to now do so amidst the global pressure. Having said that, it has now violated or entered into the sovereign waters of Vietnam, Philippines, Malaysia, Indonesia. In fact, not just the South China Sea, on the East China Sea, it is also having a long-term border dispute with Japan over two islands called the Senkaku Islands. Now, as far as the South China Sea is concerned, these seven islands does give a tactical advantage to Beijing because they're heavily militarized, which means that there is presence of heavy equipment in three out of these seven islands. In three out of these seven islands, there are jet hangars, uh, there is heavy military equipment, and there is a preparation if there is any hostilities that China sees. Because of this heavy militarization, none of the smaller uh, countries in its vicinity have really taken Beijing to task. Philippines did so, but through an arbitration uh, procedure, not militarily. In fact, Philippines won that case in the uh, UN Convention of uh, Law that uh, overlooks the seas, um, that pertains to naval uh, navigation. Manila won it. But of course, China didn't recognize the verdict, as was expected. Now, how does this impact India? Now, firstly, India can be said to be a non-claimant country as far as the South China Sea is concerned, simply because it's, it's waters China is not entering into. Having said that, it is a very significant member of the Indo-Pacific region. And which is why it is playing a larger role along with United States, Japan and Australia. I'm going to come to that in a bit. But before that, I want to tell what is it that New Delhi is getting impacted by. It is getting impacted by the possibility of China restricting navigation in the South China Sea. How important is the South China Sea? Well, annually about $5 trillion worth of goods pass through this pass through this uh, sea. That is how important it is commercially and of course strategically. And which is why India feels that any escalation of hostilities, any attempt by China to restrict navigation, New Delhi is directly impacted. Now the options that New Delhi has. Two very clear, simple, straightforward options that India has immediately. First and foremost, the Straits of Malacca. Straits of Malacca is that strait between Indonesia and Malaysia where India has in the past, in fact, kept a warship in the possibility if there is any escalation. And after the escalation with China in Ladakh, India has done so again. It has quietly put a warship in Straits of Malacca, giving it an advantage in the event of any escalation of tensions. That's the first thing it can do. It is well within its rights to do so. There is freedom of navigation. All countries are allowed to pass through international waters. Nobody can stop that. That's point number one. Point number two is the court arrangement, the quadrilateral security dialogue, it has to very actively engage with the navies of US and Japan and Australia to counter China collectively. Let me clarify one thing, which is very important. China has three naval fleets in the Indo-Pacific region. And that gives it a very uh, significant advantage. India, US, Japan and Australia, if they come together, they can, of course, counter China very actively, very aggressively and 
comfortably. Now that's really how the South China Sea pans out. Now the other important bit I want to highlight is that when you talk about these spratly islands, the last thing I want to mention is, a lot of people say how significant can this really be? They're just a bunch of islands in the middle of nowhere. Why should anybody care? There's only one reason why anybody should care. That is because they've been heavily militarized by China to such an extent and because of the tech tactical advantage it has on the location, on either side of the Spratly Islands, the United States is not in a position to defend, let alone actually uh, ensure it causes heavy damage in the event that tensions escalate. The United States will have to go all the way to the celibacies to be able to actually put up a significant defense against Beijing. Tactical locations matter more in military than just vast tracts of land or in this case islands. That's really why they are important. Strategic locations, tactical advantage that China has, which is what the world is now worried about. That's what I have for this edition of Worldview. I'm going to be back with the right.